Okay. We are live. Okay. Don't say fuck or bugger. No, I don't swear. <laughs> Do you remember that from, um, oh, what was it, Bo Selector? No. You don't remember Bo no. Selector? He's a rapper. No, Bo Selector's, you know Celebrity Juice? No. You don't know the no, talk no. show, Celebrity Juice? No. All right. Um, okay, I'll give up now. <laughs> give up. That's <laughs> right. All right, everybody. Welcome to Two Day Pass, Two Day Crew. <laughs> and an extra special thank you because I just reached 5,000 subscribers. So wow. really appreciate all the love, all the support that everyone's been giving me on the channel. Please keep it coming. And let's just make this channel grow, 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 grow. So everybody, this is Desmond. Desmond from Decide to Drive. Yep, there we go, people. Decide to Drive. Decide to love life because if you do take lessons with Desmond, I mean, you're going to get top quality obviously you, go. you got the car you don't really need him really <laughs> it drives itself <laughs> yeah that's it though isn't it cars are yeah, getting to kick, that level kick, yeah right so what we're going to do is we're going to go through because someone requested this a shout out down here to the request for why are people failing or what are the top reasons for people failing their driving test so um desmond why not start the car because we're going off to bromley to do a mock test where i'm going to drive this manual car again even though i said i won't be back in a manual car i'm back in manual cars all the time now come on the manuals so, yeah <laughs> zip it scott keep your mouth shut right um so yeah we're gonna head to bromley and on the way we're just gonna have a chat about yep. what are the reasons for people failing so when you're ready des let's uh get this show on the road okay here we go I'm going to put some air con on. Is that cool? That's cool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, copyright. I see. I just lost all my royalties. Thanks, Des. <laughs> all right. So the main reason why people are failing their driving test is number one reason for what? Observations. I don't even know how long. that It's been like 10 years in a row. That's been the number one reason yep. why people are failing the driving test. Now, this observations, just like what Desmond did, is on so many different parts of the driving test. Correct. So before you move off, you've got to do your all-round observations. Yep. Before you do your reversing, you've got to do your all-round observations. When you get to junctions, you've got to do your observations. Right. Yep. Observations. Right, left, right again. Observation, I observation, just, observation. Yeah, lots of observations. I mean, you could even put that into the category of... I'm sorry, I'm too hot. Um, of the mirror checks, right? I mean, they're not classed as observations. They're classed as mirror checks, yeah? Yeah. But this is a huge part of the test. Mirror checks, shoulder checks, blind spot checks. Motorbikes call them blind, uh, sorry, they call them lifesavers, life don't they? Yep, yeah, that's right. So um, what are some of the situations that you've seen happen where your students may get a serious driver for, for observations? Roundabout, large one last okay. week. She's coming up, turning left. Yeah. Um, she did double check the right. She's right, left, and she went with the van. Good. So minimum observations at all junctions right, are right, left, right, right again. Why? Because you might have missed something on that last right check. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gets stagnant. It's stale. So you need to make sure you check it all the time. All the time. Good. Just, um, like, just like you're watching tennis. See, I'm watching tennis. See, here we go. Really advantage, good point. decide to drive. Manuals, yeah. come on, manuals. Yeah. Because I was at Carol, right? I was talking to Carol, she's another lady that's on the team. Um, she has manual car as well, but what we were talking about was the observations also. And she mentioned, like Desmond just showed us, he demonstrated it, that people don't look enough. So mm -hmm. they're not scanning like Desmond was just doing, yeah. watching yeah. the tennis. So I remember yeah. you told me that a while ago, yeah. actually. Yeah. That's a really good yeah. one. So a lot yeah. of people, what they'll do, or what I've noticed, yeah. is they'll look right, kind of look left, left. and no. then go, right? No. Um, but we want to watch the tennis, keep the head moving yep. on a pivot. That's it. You were just waiting at that junction for maybe 20 seconds, That's something correct. like yep. that. Yep. And there was cars coming, yep. but you kept scanning yep. both sides. And it wasn't right? the end of the world, me waiting at the junction. Yeah. So the junctions and observations are a critical part. Um, and also the maneuvers is the second critical part. And that really does kind of cover all the points for people that would receive a serious driver for, uh, I yeah. forgot the moving away as well. Yeah. So yeah. on your driving test, you're asked to do a reverse maneuver where you have to do uh, observations all around the car. Yeah. We call that six point check. Yeah. Um, and then you do that roughly, what, every couple of meters throughout the maneuver? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. just worthwhile, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when we move away, so on your driving test, you'll be asked to pull over and stop on the left at yeah. least three times. Yeah. 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 Two normal stops. Yeah. Start, angle start. Okay, so four. Four. Yeah. Four. 
And, right. if, and if you find you're pulling up more, that mm-hmm. means you're not checking your blind spots. Exactly. Oh, right. Really? Okay. Yeah. Just like a boxer. If you're in a ring and somebody's yeah. boxing you and you get cut in the left eye, yeah. they're, they're, when you go back to your corner, they're yeah. going to tell you, your trainers are going to say, yeah. work on that cut. Yeah. Break it open. Right. So, so the fight will be lost on a, on a technicality. Mm-hmm. So you make sure if they're stopping you regularly a bit more than the four normal times, there's an issue. You're not checking your blind spot. I learn a lot from Desmond, actually, because you go to Carlington, don't you? You're yep. quite communicative yep. yep. with yep. the examiners. Yep. Um, so Desmond knows he's... I won't say that last no, word, no. but he knows... Yep. No, you've got to know what you're doing here. You've got yeah. to know, you know, I've been doing this job a while, so, you know, and I don't get stagnant. I don't, get, um, I keep keep on the keep on the cutting edge of, of what's happening in the driving industry. So that's the number one reason why people fail observations. Des, what would you say are some of the other, or number two reason why people fail driving tests? Not making progress. Um, okay. Not making driving progress. Too slow. Driving too slow. Okay. And they feel if they drive slow, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna pass their tests. Yeah. So what I've noticed is that people are ready for their test. We take them obviously, and then when they get on their test, they what change, do they do? They change they what change. you. They've changed what you, what they've been taught. Yep. Drive like you've been taught. Don't change yes. it. Don't impress the examiner. Don't do no handbrake skids in your police cars. You can't do handbrake skids. So, yeah. Just drive as you've been taught. It's gone really dark in here. It's gone dark. Oh, yeah. hope it's not going to rain. Um, okay, so what we're looking for is to stay the same as what you've been doing on your driving test. And often I will actually mention this to my students. I'll say, don't change anything. Just do what you've always been doing. Be yourself. Yep. Good luck. Go for it. Yeah? Yep. Because then when people go for the driving test, they might change the way that they drive. Yep. And then they'll drive too slow. This is often the reason. Yep. And then that would be a uh, serious driver for, for appropriate speed, usually. Speed, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So moving on, I, I'd say another big area that people uh, fail for their driving tests, and I'm sure everybody will agree with me, is roundabouts. Yes. Yes. Now, there's so many different topics that we could cover about roundabouts. But in general, and we were discussing this earlier, it's what I call the danger zone. Mm-hmm. So the danger zone is the immediate right-hand corner of the roundabout. So we have to give priority to the right at roundabouts. Yeah. Okay. So that whole section on the right-hand side of you when you reach the roundabout is the danger zone. That might include traffic that's waiting to join the roundabout on the right side, or it may be traffic that's already on the roundabout from the right side. And what I find is that students have quite a lot of difficulty assessing that traffic and judging when a safe time is to drive out. Yeah. You would agree? Yeah. yeah. Agree. yeah. So what advice would you give to people that are having this kind of difficulty on their driving lessons and driving test even? Early vision, early decision. Brilliant. The early look. Speed and approach is so crucial. If you get your speed in the right, it's like a conveyor belt. You can fit in, or as you come up slow, you can see opportunity, you can speed up. But a lot of people come up too quick, so they, they can't navigate all the things that's happening on the roundabout. It's only, it's only a one-way system. Everything is coming from the right. So you're only looking to the right and actually on the roundabout. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to look for the blockers, which is important. Lovely. So uh, just going to pick up on a few key points that Desmond just said. So approaching the roundabout too fast. Mm -hmm. This is the secret. And I find if people just master the approaching speed, everything else just flows. Their observations, like you just mentioned, so that's the second point we want to pick up on. So you were saying about blocker cars, looking, that early vision, early decision, looking for the right, and a blocker car, Des, could you just summarize what a blocker car is for anybody that's watching that isn't too sure about what a blocker car is? Okay, so we give way to our right. So our right also has to give way to their right. So once their right is coming out, blocking their immediate approach, you can take it, you can take that and use that to join the roundabout because they're leaving on the left and they're blocking your right for you. Good. So for all of those people that are not too sure what block a car, there you go. It's the vehicle that's coming on the roundabout, blocking the traffic on the right from going into the roundabout, which can give you an opportunity to go. If you've seen the blocker car early and you've timed your entrance to the roundabout, 
pretty much exactly at the same time, right? And then that way you can both go round without actually getting too close to each other because you're on opposite sides of the roundabout. And the traffic on the right that you would normally give priority to, which you probably noticed is not moving, it's because it's blocked yeah. by the blocker car. Yeah. All right, and that hopefully will give you more knowledge. And as long as you remember it and use it or start to use it on your lessons, you'll get more confident and then you'll pass your driving test first time, right? Yep. That's the idea. So if anybody wants to get in touch with Desmond, just go in the comments down below. You'll see his phone number. Give him a call. If you want to do the two-day pass with Desmond, just have a check out twodaypass.com for prices. Get in touch, and then we'll get you booked in. We can get your test sorted out for you as well, even though um, I'm sure everybody that's watching this knows how difficult it is to get a driving test at the moment. So if you need help with that, then just contact us as well. I've been Scott. This has been Desmond. Stay tuned because we're pretty much in Bromley now, right? This is the shopping centre bit, I think. All right. And I'm getting nervous now because I'm about to do (laughs) another mock driving test in an area I don't know in a manual car again. So wish me luck. Thanks again for the 5,000 supporters. And I love that. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate that. And stay tuned for my mock test and Des's mock test video. So we'll see you there. Okay. Peace. Bye.